Just back in it, everybody. How was everyone's weekend? Was it great? Did you have a good weekend? That's what I care about. I'm here to play some fishing games. And what do I care about? Hearing about how great everyone's weekend was. Would not be a good honeymoon without a BZ Hub stream. Oh my god. Well, I can I can think of <laughs> I, I can think of some honeymoon ideas that don't involve a BZF live stream that are that are all right. But hey, right on, man. Well, it's good to see you. Didn't expect you to show up during your honeymoon. Goodness gracious. Congratulations, though. That's awesome. Well, top notch, everybody. Who's all in the chat before we get too far ahead into this brown trout stream? I might kill a fly during this live stream we'll just see what happens if he gets close to me in fact we might we might shoot him off the face of the earth before long give me a sec give me a second yes okay he's done he's done though moving on all right, top notch. Who's in the chat though? We got TTV, Jacob Ninja, Angler42, YouTube Wolf Plays, Jonathan Osterweiz, Osterweiz, Osterweiz. It sounds like a cool like a uh, sausage brand name if I say Osterweiz. Get your an Osterweiz sauce sausage, the finest German sausage in all the land. I kind of went into a Scandinavian voice there. That's okay though. Goofy Goober, right on, Angler42, Kyle Fishing Channel, Gage, Beamer, Jonathan, uh, Dwayne, Sid the Sloth, 
Kyle Fishing, Jonathan again. Samuel Johnson, TSW. Jonathan again. Lexus Mosby. Like Mr. Mosby from, um... What is that? The Sweet Life, the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You got any tips for Kanit Creek? I got lots of tips. That's why I made the videos. Yeah, yeah, good, good uh, reel with uh, with a high retrieve. Otherwise, those salmon are gonna escape you. Fly got animated. Fly got animated indeed. Just saying, I gotta pick those darts up before my dogs eat them. I can only find one. It's okay. When you got your when you got your fly swatter ten thousand here, does does the job. It kills Covenant. It, it arms the Master Chief, and it kills a fly every now and then. All right, let's do this. We are here to catch some freaking brown trout. I don't even remember what our uh, setups are. Is it, the, is it that one? Let's see. What do we have on this? No, it's not this one. The Siberia? This is it. This is this is what we were using. Okay. Move that to the number one spot here. Hope that we don't break this while we're using it. We are gonna do some fishing, everybody. What I'm talking about. Happy hour bonus. Let's go. This is a fishing video, not a fly hunting one. Heck yeah, man. I do it all. I'm the modern day outdoorsman. Don't you know? There we go. I got the hook up here. Got the hook up there. What do we got? I think it's a grayling, to be honest. That's yeah, a grayling. That's okay. I'll take a grayling, too. Right on. Starting it off with a little grayling. Top notch. I, I hear I see that fish friend. What's up? You got into how are you? I'm doing well, Jonah. Thanks for asking. Old legendary fishing almost caught himself a big old alligator gar recently. Just got away. Just barely got away. Who knew you had to work on your roping skills so much when it came to fishing, eh? Watching stream as I begin the surge and grind right on, man. Hope you're all having a great day. Hey, having a good day, Daniel says. Right on, man. I love the positivity. Bobby Worst, hey, what is the game? It's Russian Fishing 4. <clears throat> you hate October River? Come off the hook easy. Medium spoon for out of Kanik is good. I thought this was Fishing Planet. Nah. Well, it's not. It's Russian Fishing. Yeah, the reasoning, in case some of you are wondering, why we're not playing uh, Fishing Planet? I'll I'll let you in on a little, on a little sneak peek. All all 59 of you get to know a secret here. I don't like the camera like this. Here's the secret. We are in a closed beta for for Fishing Planet, testing out testing out the new update that came out for Fishing Planet. The fish fighting and the clubs and that sort of stuff. So, I've heard from a little birdie that tomorrow might be like the opening where we're able to start making videos and do live streams of this uh, of this update that's going to be coming out with the new fish fighting and uh, and stuff like that. So, hopefully, tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be able to do much, but on Wednesday, the Wednesday live stream will hopefully be a live stream of the new update um, in the beta so that you can all see it ahead of time. We can go chase down. I have, I have a level 80 beta account with every rod and reel in the game, and so we can go out and just go catch fish and test out the new fish fighting system that they have. Unfortunately, no ocean. The ocean is just not there yet. I've been telling people this for months. The ocean is not going to be ready till August, September. 
So don't, I mean, I don't hold your breath or else you're going to die. Anywho, but uh, that's exciting. I'm excited about it. We uh, So hopefully Wednesday we'll do a Fishing Planet stream, test out the new stuff. It'll be, it'll be fun. Anywho, back to some fishing. Alrighty. Alrighty. Didn't accept <laughs> the chew through the 300 pound break. You know, they, uh... Life finds a way, right, Ian Malcolm? <laughs> that's that's my only response to that. Do you like that the f philosophical edge I put on there? A little 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 spin, little twirl, little philosophical twirl there. Just doing a constant retrieve here. Maybe stop every now and then. A little pause in between. Finally made it to the first BZ Ab stream. Quentin says, right on, man. Well, glad you made it. Kilo Knight, update woo. Gage, currently fishing for Pike, right on. Do you know? I do not know. No, I don't know anything about the ocean fishing map. We know we know nothing about that map. Other than where it is. We know the we know the we know uh kind of where the location is gonna be. Other than that, we know nothing. But asking me questions about it isn't going to do any good because I don't know anything about it other than where it is. <laughs> I love how I continue to say I don't know anything about it and then and rattle off something I know about it. All right, here we go. Bo, so, do I like fishing? Do I like fishing? Of course I love it. I I don't like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I something so hard I can't something something. I can't remember the rest of the words. But I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Oh, got ourselves a perch. Didn't see that coming. I think we need to change the lures, honestly. We got a grayling and a perch so far. I don't know. Maybe I should be more patient. I should be more patient and just roll with it. You've been watching many videos right on, man. You're new. Well, glad that you made it then, JM Vass. Why don't I play Bassmaster Classic game? Um, you know, it's funny because I uh, I just I just the other day I actually recorded a video uh, playing some of the worst games out there, and I did not think about playing the Bassmaster Classic. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I just didn't enjoy the game. I mean, to be honest. You could, you could, I, to me, the Bassmaster Classic is the same as like Hunting Simulator 2 or Fortnite. I just don't enjoy them, so why would I play them? And not many people watch the videos either, so it's like, what, if there was one thing to make a video about it, even though I don't like it, it would be because people want to watch the videos. Um, but not many people watch the videos now either. So it's like, what's the point? Do I have tips for Mosquito Lake? Uh, not the uh, top of my head anyway. Float fish, you can float fish pretty easily at Mosquito Lake uh, for some, for some, uh, you know, little fish that, that can add up. You can catch them really fast and they eventually add up to be some decent money. Can be a good option. We are catching everything but brown trout right now. Another little chub. Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching lures. There's nothing you can do about it. We thinking, um, thinking a black one maybe? Do this one. What else do we got? Let's go with this one. Changing it up. Changing it up or we'll die. All right. 
Do you get that game to steam the game you're playing and is it for 40? Uh, what are you talking about, Lucas? Do you get that game to steam the game you're playing and is it for 40? The game I'm playing right now is is a free game. It is on Steam. You can download it on Steam. And it is a free game you can play for, for nothing. First time in your stream too, Sinko says. Right on. Soggy Levi. Thank you for the sub there, Soggy Levi. Inserts two bait coins to skip to Wednesday stream. Oh man. Oh man, people are excited. Go back. Let's change it up. Change it up. Quick question. We all know San, San Joaquin is better at San Diego, but what map do I enjoy more? I would assume you enjoy the Saint Saint uh, Saint Croix more. People tend to enjoy Saint Croix more than San Joaquin, which is understandable. I enjoy Saint Croix a lot too. That's why we cruised through Saint Croix on the uh, the, the second beginner series. Because I, I really do enjoy flow fishing for those pike. It is fun. Fun stuff. Jean Michael? Jean Michael? Is this better than any fishing game? It is the most realistic fishing game. So, in that respect, yes. It is better. Is a better fishing simulation than any other fishing game out there. Russian Fishing 4 has has the has the simulation market cornered. They've got it, man. The old spikers are not doing very uh very good at the moment. Biggest fish on Mosquito Lake is a 2.2 kilogram carp. There you go. I try so hard, I can't rise above it. Don't know what it is about. I love in, but I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Love it. Angler42, thank you. Please get a life. I don't think those are the words to the song. Sorry, Zola. What game is this? This is not Fishing Planet. No, this is Russian Fishing 4. As my, the title is showing up correct on this on this live stream, correct? I have on my side, it says, we're fishing for brown trout to make big money, Russian Fishing 4, RF4. And then it says, category gaming, game Russian Fishing 4. Is everyone else seeing this? I'm so confused why I keep getting questions about what game we're playing when all the information is right there. It's right there, available to all of you. Am I going crazy? What is the best fish to grind fishing plan at level 19? I, yeah, I'm not sure off the top of my head. It may be worth going and checking out beginner series and seeing where we were fishing at level 19. Might give you some ideas. BZ, big fan, twisted pressing. Right on, dude. I am a big fan of big fans. Level 13 to fishing planet tips. You better believe it. I'm sure we've got in that beginner series too. I'm sure we've got level 13 tips in there. You better, you better believe it. Just keep saying that over and over again. What is that good Lake River for level 18? Once again, the beginner series two. I don't know if if some of you guys know this, but it is literally separated by level, so that you can go and and look and say. Oh, I'm level 27. I wonder where I should be. If I click on the beginner series two, then you just scroll down till you see level 27 and you click on it and then you watch it and then you know what to do or level 19. Click. There you go. Level 19, level 17. Click. There you go. That's where you could be at level 17. I, I, I made this really simple for all of you. Because, frankly, I was tired of answering questions about where to be at certain levels. There's 80 levels in the game. I'm not going to remember every single level. So I made videos so that it will help you out. 
hornets are active right now. Well, that's a fun fact. I'm level 19. What's up, Bo? What's up, Mythical? What's one thing you bring with you except expect for your rod, etc., for fishing? What is one thing I bring with me except for my rod when I go fishing? Oh, oh, I think we got our first brown trout. I think we got our first brown trout. Let's go! First brown trout. He's a little guy, but he's hey, we got him. We got him, and that's what matters. Took us, what, how many fish have we caught? Five, five different fish? Five different fish, and we finally got him? And that's all that matters. The title is fine. I didn't read the title. I got you. How is the luck? Not too bad. We got our first brown trout. So it's not like we're killing him at the moment. But we're doing okay. We might have to change up lures again here soon. Just to, just to change, try something different. See if they're going for something else. Might be going for a different lure. Catch one of your lives. Huge fan. Love the content. It's helped a ton. Appreciate all the time and energy you put into it. Robert Jordan. Well, glad to hear it. Right on, man. You have watched older live streams because you keep missing them. Oh, man. But you made it to this one, so that's good. Let's see what we got here. What can we... I'm trying to remember what we used to use. I might have to look back at an older live stream to see what we were using here. Because I can't even recall. I guess we can look at the old video. Where's our last Russian Fishing 4 video? Here we go. Filling these cafe orders, catching a lot of crucians, a lot of gibbles here, and you can see how I'm going in. I'm looking at what's on the side for some. It's pretty sweet. Boy, oh, and level 16. I just want to pause it right here just for a traveled to Old Berg Lake, which you then use for. We we're also different uh, techniques to try here. We went. They just kind of come out of nowhere, and you also pull out some of these like chunky little chubs here. Um, 3 kg chub, not too bad, you know. But the greatest tip that we were given, we got uh, black. Okay, so that's that one. These lures that we've been using and okay. Hook. Now I was only able to afford one of these Magnair treble hooks um, in a size six medium. Um, but basically, what we were doing is because the hook was so expensive, I was taking the hook off of one loop seems um and during the afternoon i was throwing a different loop um and times of the day um different okay i got it we're good we can we can do it now we we, we get what what's going on totally all right so what we gotta do is look at our lures and we should take this is a size four. That's a big hook. How many of these do we have? We got three, two of the... We got lots of these. Let's take a hook off of one of these guys. And we're going to put it on to one of these guys instead. And we're going to equip that guy onto our rod. Just to mix it up. the heck I thought I put the new hook on yeah we did we did didn't we pretty sure we did yeah we did okay good it's almost night time now though means we're gonna have to switch to a different lure again 
Dragonflies are all over the place in New Orleans area. Really? Are you late? Not too late. If you have a hornet, use it. I don't know if I do have a hornet. What other than your rod bait setter do you bring with you when you go fishing? Need ideas for your costume. Oh God. Backpack, I always wear a backpack. Got my backpack with all my camera stuff, usually. When you switch, I got a hornet in there. You are friends with the fish? I see that, yeah, you're a fish friend, aren't you? If I would have known it was going to get dark immediately, then I wouldn't have put this freaking lure on. We'd always fish with that black one. We'd always fish with that black lure when we uh, fish at nighttime. Oh, we got, okay, we got a good one on that one too. Well, top notch, everybody. All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Catch us a big old brown. So poor on Fishing Planet, it's sad. <laughs> You're making me sad just thinking about it. I'm typing it in on winding. What? RC kid, hello, hello. My fishing planet mobile keeps crashing. I have my graphics on low, etc. Do you know anything that would help? I, I do not know. No. Don't know anything about it, unfortunately. Your second beginner series, you said that the rod and reel for St. Croix wasn't max drag, but it is. Well, that's good. Ah, oh, it's a grayling. We switched and immediately caught a fish. I thought maybe we had uh, done something right. But unfortunately, no. This is a decent sized grayling though. 363. That's good. That's good. Dang, you level 80. I can't add. You're so good. You, John. Just bought new lures. You just bought new lures. Very nice. Shoot bow. Did I write? Did I write costume? I meant costume. I don't. I, I don't know. When you save up enough, write this down. Buy a saber sixty and a super something rod, and then go to quarry. Then you're in business. Then you're in business. A sa so you want me to write down Saber 60 and a Super something rod. Got it. Got it, bro. You better believe it. Writing it down right now. Saber 60 and a Super something rod. Got it. It's, it's written down. What map is this? This is uh, Balea River. So, yeah. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? What the frick was that? Sounded like a hog monster. What is a better map? Blue crab or weeping willows? Well, depends on what you're after. If you're wanting to catch carp. Weeping Willows is much better than Blue Crab. However, if you're wanting to catch Tarpon, you will find that Blue Crab is much better for Tarpon than Weeping Willows. Hopefully that helps you out. <laughs> How do you get Fishing Planet Mobile? You just look it up on the App Store and download it. Do you fish for catfish? I used to all the time. Used to all the time. If we're talking about real life, if we're talking about Russian fishing, then never. Not yet, anyway. Oh, God, we threw it over the rock. Yeah, we got it. We saved it. We're good. We're good, everybody. We threw it over top of the rock, but it's it's now on our side. We're, we're fine. 
We're good. Everyone's fine. We, I think, oh, we're, we're good. Thought we were stuck in a bush for a second there, but we're fine. Is this on console? It is not on console. Can't forget business. Business is business. Whoa, that was a freaking Mondo cast right there. That's major, bro. That was a major super duper throw. Whoa, and you can see it all worked out. You need to have a major super du duper throw like that. And that's how you get the good ones. That is how you do it, my friend. Ooh. Oh, he's taking out line, man. Oh, he's skipping up on top now. He's skipping up on top. Finally, the highlight, the highlight of the whole video. <gasps> he's not a brown trout. He's a chub. No, I wanted you to be a big, big old brown trout. You're stupid chub. Ah, oh, dumb chub. You ruined my day. I was super excited. I was so excited to go back in later and be like, you know, oh, the freaking, what was that, 31 minute? We, we caught the big brown trout of the live stream, but no, freaking chub. Uh, that's okay. Let's keep him. We're going to throw him on a hook and uh, catch something bigger. just joshing just sub to your other channel are you saying that you just sub to the modern day outdoorsman my god that's one of the best decisions i've heard all day right and did, did you also say that if you had one thing to recommend to all the other 68 people here it would be to go check out the modern day outdoorsman channel and subscribe and watch a video you're you are just speaking straight from my brain tell you that tell you that much my goodness gracious ah uh, only thing better than that would be to tell people that we also have an instagram and if they have an instagram they could they could look us up but you don't have to do that i wouldn't expect you to do that too that that's that's just that's just above and beyond sort of stuff I can't listen since I'm on a on a, I'm on a call. So I wave to say hi, hello. <laughs> Just watching the live stream without sound. I dig it. I like your I like your spunk. We are tossing this thing deep. Big fan of the BZ up and love the content, brother. Blake Bird, right on. Appreciate it, man. W job. Any trick for someone who wants to carp fish, but all I have is bash and catfish gear? What could I do? Oh, yeah, I got stuff for you, man. I mean, if you know where the carp are, you could literally throw out a piece of corn, like a single kernel of corn or two on a hook and throw it out in front of them. And if it's small and they don't get scared by it, you could literally toss it like two feet in front of them and they will just go up and grab it. Um, if, if you have a good spot like that. However, if you don't have something like that, um, if you have catfish stuff and you have sinkers, you can easily make a pack bait. Um, and there's lots of videos on YouTube of how to make pack baits. And then what you can also do with one of your catfish rigs is... Uh, is find out how to make a hair rig and then you could uh put you could create a hair rig and put corn on it or something like that there's there's lots of options you, you can do all sorts of stuff but there's just some ideas i mean if you wanted to do it really lazy you could um, you, you could make pack bait and then just put a couple kernels of corn on the hook too the kernels will just crush 
when you set the hook anyway, so it's not going to be too crazy, but it's not it's not perfect, of course. You subscribe. Oh, you're already subbed. My God, you've never caught an uni fish. Consider it done, man. You never caught an uni fish in Fishing Planet? Already sub to the MDO. You will keep grinding. Any big brown trout? No, unfortunately. Just a bunch of dumb chub. We did catch one brown. We have one brown. But that's that's it for now. I'm trying. I'm moving. I'm staying mobile. You know my my style. Stay mobile. Keep on casting. Aim for those little little points of interest, you know, those POIs. That's what fishing's all about. Every platform. <laughs> I'm going to the Everglades, cause why not? I know, right? I know, right? Cause why not? You gonna stop me? Huh? You gonna stop me from going to the Everglades? Didn't think so. That's right. You can't stop me because I'm crazy. Can't tell what's going on right now. I think we're dragging on the rock, maybe. We must be dragging on the bottom or something. I'm not sure what's going on. Pressure on this lure is doing crazy things right now. We need to, if it wasn't already 2.30 in the morning, we, we should have left and went to, uh, what is it, Old Berg Lake and went for some of those bream. Could have done some bream fishing while we were, uh, while, while at nighttime. But I was kind of interested to see if we'd catch any brown trout at night, so that's why I stayed. I know. Stupid. Looking back, what was I thinking? But you do what you have to do sometimes. The call has been dismissed. <gasps> Subbed and following now, boss man. Your content doesn't get near enough hype. Oh, thanks, man. I agree. It should get way more hype. What's the deal? <laughs> I was ch never caught an uni fish in fishing by Well, get on it. We have lots of videos about catching uni fish. Even at mud water. You can catch your first uni fish at mud water. Vass, get on it. Everglades is fun to fish in. It's true. It is fun. Just finished watching your level 29 Everglades video before the stream. It was great. Oh, thanks, Soggy. Appreciate it. Whoa! Whoa! Are you joking? Freaking thing followed me like six feet from shore and then just tore off. What do we got? You better not be another freaking chub. That's all I can tell you. Dude, are you a chub? It is another chub. <gasps> ah! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Why, Chubb? Why do you hate me so? Oh, he's gonna go. Swimming off. No. Get back here, stupid. Get over here. Your dumb face and your dumb tail and your dumb body. 1.86 pound Chubb. My God. Is that a new PB? I don't know. What popped up in the bottom right there? I missed it. 1300 XP in happy hour. Nice. I love it. I love it. Let's keep him. Let's keep him. I was really hoping for a brown, but in the last like six feet away from the shore, that chub came and just freaking took it. Four, four pound chub, basically. Oh, here we go. Fish on, fish on, boyo. Little guy. Definitely littler than the ones we've been catching, but maybe that means we've got a brown on, you know? Who knows? Who knows? Doesn't let me the fake. Do you recommend White Moose Lake and Fishing Plant to level up? I do not. 
No. <gasps> I think it's a brown. It's a little tiny brown, but it's still a brown. Get over here, brown trout. My wife always makes poop jokes whenever I talk about brown trout. Yeah, boyo! Little tiny brown. So pretty, though, with all the little dots and colors on him. Pretty fish. That's a pretty fish right there. My wife will always go, you're going after brown trout? Sick. Gross. You're nasty. And then I have to go, not poop. The fish. <sighs> Grow up. Am, am I right? Cetus Lapidus. All right. Let's see if we can get us another one. The red rooster tail in this game is good for brown trout. <gasps> I've got something like that. I've got something like that on right now. Whoa! Hey oh, hey oh! Hooked up again, boyos. A little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger brown trout. Let's go! That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. We want it. We need it. We have it. Let's go. Get in here, boyo. Yeah! Yeah! Is that enough hype for you? Look at these big old pimples. These big old, uh, what are they called? Chicken pox. Big old chicken pox on its side. Look at those teethers right there. Goodness gracious. Bite your fingers off. Bite them off. Like a little piranha. That is nice. That's a beautiful fish right there. 508 Gs. 508 Gs. 2,176 XP, baby. Baby. Well, that's awesome. Top notch. Keeping that mamacita. All right. I swear, don't be another chub. Assault. See you later. Good luck on the browns. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you prefer fishing planet over this? I, I like them both. When it comes to fishing in Africa, I definitely prefer fishing planet over this game because there is no African fishing. However, when it comes to a realistic fishing experience, I prefer Russian fishing for because it's uh it's it's just more realistic than fishing planet and sometimes that's not what you want sometimes you do want a slightly arcadey fishing game that's just kind of fun to play and that's where fishing planet shines not only that but you can fish in the united states you can fish in south america in europe you can fish there's even a location in russia um you can you know you can fish all over the world sort of thing and you can't really do that in russian fishing for so the game, they, the games both have, uh, both have things going for them. And that's cool. I like that. There's no reason you only have to play one of them, you know? You can play both of them if you're on, if you're on PC at least. If you're not on PC, then, uh, then you can only play Fishing Planet. So why even talk about it? <laughs> Though I will say, I've, I've said it before, they have talked about them working on a console version of Russian Fishing 4, so eventually maybe it will come out on console. You've never caught a trout. They're pretty cool. I've never caught a big trout. Uh, the biggest trout like I came close to was that darn sealhead. That's like the biggest thing that's like a salmonid sort of species that's, that's as close as I've gotten to like a, a big sort of trout. And it's not a trout, but I mean, it kind of is a trout, but you know, you know what it is. What the heck? What is this? What is this? Is this another brown? Three browns in a row. Let's go, bro. We're killing it now. Ah. Where do you recommend going being level 28? I, I don't know. You got options, I believe, if I can remember right. It was like Everglades, Emerald Emerald Lake, Everglades, and Falcon Lake were three options to get you to 30. And that's how you catch a trout. And that's how you catch a trout. 
You keep getting Florida Gar. No. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing to catch so many Florida Gar, huh? Good luck. Sup, Brian says. Brian the deer. Sup. Cupid, yeah. Cupid, yeah. It's like a, it's like a question or like an answer to a question. They're like, um, they're like your username on uh, on YouTube. It's like uh, it's like that little baby with the wings, right? Shoots people with a bow and arrow. Uh, Cupid, yeah. And you go, yeah, exactly, Cupid, yeah. That's it. You got it. Why are you playing an off-brand fishing planet game? N no, this is actually the original fishing planet game. Believe it or not, this game came before Fishing Planet. Uh, it was actually, uh, it was actually like the the makers of the two games know each other, and the reason that they started working on a fishing game was to create Russian Fishing Four, and then they created, then they split different ways, and then. The, the maker of Fishing Planet created Fishing Planet, and then the other people continued working on Russian Fishing 4. So if anything, Fishing Planet is an off-brand Russian Fishing 4, is is the history there. But they're both fun games, you know? I like them both. Can't say that enough. I feel like if, a, if Russian Fishing 4 was on console, it would be a much more popular game. But if you look... Fishing Planet is the one that's on console. Fishing Planet is the one that's on phones. And so it's it's a much more popular game in that way. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Wow. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Is this game as grindy as Fishing Planet? It's uh it is grindy, but in a different way. Uh, it's more about making money in this game, whereas Fishing Planet's all about leveling up so you can go to new locations. Russian Fishing 4 is about making money. If you make enough money, then you can buy better equipment. Like, for instance, if you look at, like, these are the first locations you have. Uh, Mosquito Lake and Winding River Lake. If you go to these two locations, they have big fish there like 40 pound catfish and stuff like that just at the starting location you know um but you need to have equipment to be able to fish those fish and so the game is about making money because if you are able to buy the equipment to catch those big fish then you don't need to fish down at ladoga lake or Ladoga Archipelago or lower, you know, you don't need the later maps in the game to catch big fish. You can catch them at the starting areas. You just need the equipment to be able to catch them. So that's why people always ask me, is the game so grindy? It's like, it is, but it's not about like going to new locations. It's about making money so that you can actually catch big fish. You know, you need better rods and reels to be able to catch them, which is like real life, right? You don't go to Florida with your ugly stick and and toss a jack over the the edge of a you know a big old uh, whatever they're freaking called and 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 hook onto a, a grouper with your with your ugly stick you catch with bass and catfish on and stuff like that right you need to have some good equipment to be able to handle a fish of that size and that is an example of the concept i am trying to uh show to you When do you think Ultimate Hunting is coming out? Man, Christmas, maybe? I have no idea. We're, um... I, I have no idea. I assume that guy's having some, some, some trouble. Because he, he, uh... His company, like... They, like just poop out games real quick like they have tons of games the uh the ultimate fishing people the ultimate hunting like that whole company 
like creates tons of little games that are like simulation type games. Um, but the ones that they've created recently have done really bad. And so I'm kind of wondering if they're struggling a little bit financially to uh, get everything done in time. So I think that's why that combined with like COVID maybe, and maybe the stuff going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine and stuff like that. Like I think it's just really slowed down the development of uh, ultimate hunting. But who's to say? We don't know. They could put out a trailer for it tomorrow. I don't know. They haven't told me anything. Last game I saw that they put out was uh, what was it? They sent me they sent me a, a code for it the other day, and I didn't even try it. It's a new fishing game. I don't know. It looked it didn't look good, so I didn't even didn't even put it in to play it. Nothing's better than coming home from football practice and watching a BZ stream. Oh man, now you're making me. Now you're making me feel like gold. I feel like I'm made of gold right now. Like a big old statue of Cristiano Ronaldo. Howdy, Bo. I'm late, but hope all is going well. It all is going well, man. I'm pretty excited. This, uh, this coming weekend, I'm going to be heading off to South Lake Tahoe. I don't know if anyone's ever been to Lake Tahoe before, but I'm going to be heading there. Going to be trying some fly fishing and uh, going out on a boat with another YouTuber guy and uh, fishing Lake Tahoe for a little bit. So that's going to be a video on the MDO I'm pretty excited about. So uh, another reason to subscribe to the old MDO beating that horse. Um, but yeah, should be awesome. I have been trying for a few days now to uh, catch a carp on my little float rig thing that I've been trying. And, uh, and the conditions were just not great for it. And it, it frustrates me so because the whole point of the video is to catch one on this float rig thing. But if I was just fishing like normal, I probably would have caught a lot of carp by now. <laughs> But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to catch one on that that rig that I need that I've been trying to catch one. So it is what it is. It is what it is. By the way, you liked a hey, thanks JM JM Vass. What's your favorite fish and fishing planet? Oh, I'm not sure if I have a total favorite fish. I usually tell people tarpon, just because they're a fun one. They're big fish. They jump. They uh, they'll hit top water lures. Just a fun fish. But yeah, I don't know. This looks like a little brown. Oh, it's just a baby. It's just a baby. But that's what we're fishing for. So we're nailing it. Fishing are there fish as big as the ones in Fishing Planet? Actually, I I think I think the fish in Russian fishing the like the biggest fish in Russian fishing for right now is bigger than the one in Fishing Planet. Pretty sure. Cause uh the biggest the Nile perch goes to like what? Close to five hundred pounds or something like that? And I think that they have I don't know, we can check here. We can check here in a little bit, but I think like the swordfish and like uh, one of the sharks or something like that get pretty massive in Russian fishing for. How do you become a member? There's a little uh, rectangle with a dollar sign in it at the bottom by the at the bottom of the chat, I believe. And I think it's I think it's a dollar ninety nine. There we go. Hooked up, hooked up. It's a little ro roach. It is a big roach, dude. 233 gram common roach. All right. All right. Enough of that. I've seen enough. Let's see here. Let's see. Records and ratings. Uh, winners of the week. C records. All regions. Absolute records. So we can see here. 
the Atlantic bluefin tuna alone is bigger than the biggest Nile perch and fishing planet. It's 327 kilograms, so I mean that's over 650 pounds. And there's an Atlantic halibut that's over 630 pounds, 640 pounds. Um, here's a Greenland shark that weighs close to 1,500 pounds. So you're saying this thing is three times as big as the Nile perch in Fishing Planet. Um, so the fish in this game are quite a bit bigger. I mean, this one's 479 kilograms, the swordfish. So you, you can definitely see that the fish get a lot bigger in, in Russian Fishing 4. And, and you will potentially fight these fish for more than an hour, in like in real life. Um, they really want it to feel realistic. So when you get into a big fish like that, like you might be hooked up with them for an hour. Um, so yeah, I guess once you finally get them in, you will feel, uh, feel pretty good about it. <laughs> I just hope that you have enough time to reel them in. You just wanted to play for, uh, 15 minutes before work. And then all of a sudden you, you got this, uh, 300 pound bluefin tuna or something like that. And you're calling into work saying, Hey, I... You don't understand. I can't come into work. I've got a tuna on. This could be a record breaker, boss. I got to stay home for now. But I'll be I'll be at work soon. So now that we've got 80 people here, I wanted to say that uh the you know a fair amount of people were expecting fishing planet this this fine Monday. Uh, you know, that's that's understandable. People expect fishing planet all the time it seems. Uh, but I did want to share that on Wednesday, a little birdie told me that we might be able to, uh, do a live stream of the new beta of the, uh, fish fighting in the clubs and fishing planet. So if you've been uh, wondering how the new fish fighting is going to affect the game, you might be able to see on Wednesday. Be pretty interesting. Love the videos, guffy videos, right on, man. Helped you get the hang of Fishing Planet. Nice. Ellie's catch is terrible. The bread and mustache on Bo is the best part of him. The bread and mustache. I have the finest bread in all the land. Beard. I was genuinely confused for a second there. What bread could stand for. And then um, and then all of a sudden it hit me and I was like, oh, beard. He means beard. <laughs> but, but I was genuinely confused. Uh, <laughs> before I realized that, I was like... Is that slang for something? Bread? That man's got some fine bread on his face. Tell you what, that is the finest bread I've seen in all the land. That's some fine bread. That's a loaf. That's a loaf right there. What you say when someone's got some big bread on their face. You were playing Russian Fishing 4 and in the chat it said BZ Up and they said first fish I've ever lost, and another person said, are you the real BZ Hub? And they said no. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna catch some tarp and these eight for you. Fish on, fish on, here we go. It's a grayling. Derek Malovich, cheers, Bo. Cheers to you, Derek. And congratulations, man. All right. All right. There we go. What a cutie. Those are some smoochable lips right there. Looking at the fish's butt now. Very cool. Oh, he's got a nice little fin up on top. Very pretty. Well, we weren't expecting to catch a brown trout, but that's okay. That's okay. 
It's okay, it's all right. I got something that you gonna like. Promiscuous girl, whatever you want. Is this game free? It is free, yes. Do you remember from me from the last time? I remember people all the time. What do you even mean? Gosh, I feel like a broken record. I feel like a broken record. Like nobody truly listens to me. Channel catfish you caught two years ago or you get a new PB catfish that I don't remember. No, I do believe that's still the same PB catfish. This shows you I haven't been fishing for catfish. Uh, actually, the first, the last few weeks that I was in Kansas before I moved, I was fishing for catfish pretty much uh, religiously. Every time my buddies would go out carp fishing, I would go, but I would bring catfish stuff because I was trying to catch a big catfish before I left. And, uh, and I just never got lucky. I went on a lot of carp fishing trips with a bunch of catfish stuff just to catch nothing the entire time. But that's how fishing goes sometimes. How much trout have you caught in this live stream? I don't know. Half dozen, maybe. Not a whole lot. Aiden Wheeler Bass. Hi. Hi. Do you agree that this is more calming, the fishy planet? I don't know if it's more calming. They're, fair, they're both fairly calming in their own way. This one's definitely more realistic. Maybe it's the realism that makes it so calming, eh? Your calendar arc for Wednesday. This is my favorite YouTube channel, JM Vass. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Heck yeah. JM Vass be, uh, be uh, getting me hyped. Is Falcon Lake any good in Fishing Planet? I don't know. Maybe check the beginner series and find out. Got a decent fish on. I don't know what it is yet. He's taking out line. He's a big chub. Though I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be upset if it was a big, it's definitely a chub. I was going to say, I wouldn't be upset if it was a big brown trout, but it is definitely a chub. Get in here, chub. 1.229, not even the biggest chub of the day. That's okay. Right on. Let's do a uh, short break. For halftime, if you guys need to go use the restroom or something, feel free to do so. Come right back, hit the like button, and we'll get right back into it. Easy Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a Hub Master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? <laughs> Curse you, Bo! A vast ye matey! A guy! And now, a glimpse into the future. Shamu! 
Did you like that episode man? from John B? It's fantastic. Because all those. Hey, they keep getting views. I mean, you freaking. Oh, oh, you f <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was fun. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just wanted to say. Thanks. Welcome to the BZ Hub Hub. Alrighty, I know you're not gonna believe me, but this is actually another chub I caught right before, <laughs> right as we went to the halftime show. Yeah, chubs on chubs on chubs. Probably don't say that in public very loud. Uh, what is your biggest fish in real life? Oh, I got you, bro. I got you. Pay attention. Pay pay attention, Blake Bird. Old Nightbot's gonna answer for you. Can I see the stats on the reel and rod? I want to buy them. Heck yeah. I actually think that this came from a, um, that this came from some sort of kit, like a, like a medium spinning kit or something like that. Here, let, let me go look real quick. Help you out. In case you have some money or you're wondering what we're using, this will help you out. Let's go look. Let's go see into your imagination um was it the spinning light start no spinning light pro it is the spinning light pro so we're using the spinning light pro right now so you can see the siberia linear s60l the sputnik element pro 2000 and then we got some uh, siberia indiana on there right now however I will show you exactly what we have on our setup. We got the Siberia Linear S60L Sputnik Element Pro 2000, which comes with the kit. We got Siberia Hybrid. Uh, I believe this is braid. Yeah, braided line, black, 350 meters, 3.5 kgs. And then we have the Siberia uh, Fine F Carbon Leader, 12 pounds. Um, you can see that. So that's what we've got there. Um, and then we got the Z-Man Spiker number 218. And that is what we're using. That is what we're using. Catch these browns out here. Caught the perch bully. Oh man, sick. Your dad can't play Fishing Planet? Oh man. Easy. I'm a bit off talk, but I want to ask you if you could direct me to an origin elk. Can I own several in the 90s and have had nothing but trouble trying to find where I can get a pup? You know, I'm not going to be much help, honestly. There was a breeder in uh, Iowa where we got Bjorn, um, and they actually closed. They're not uh, an actual breeder anymore. They don't. They were pretty darn old. The guy, not to be mean or anything, but the guy was just near turning to dust when we got Bjorn. And um, and then um, when we got Oslo, we got them from, we. Uh, my wife is the one who picked up Oslo, but she, she essentially said that when she picked up Oslo, it was essentially like a puppy mill operation. They had like 60 elk hounds and they were all in cages and stuff like that. And she was like, we're never going back there to get an elk hound again. So, uh, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend that place in, uh, Tennessee, but, uh, I'm sure there's gotta be, uh, I, you would think in the Northern States or in Colorado, there's gotta be a decent one They They, they cost you about a thousand bucks, thousand, twelve hundred bucks, which there's more expensive dogs out there, but that's nothing to, that's, I mean, no one throws away a thousand bucks, but I mean, it is a dog you're going to have for 14 years of your life. So you might as well. Might as well invest something into them if you want to. Hello, Hayden. How do I get dark hornwort? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. You might have to Google it and see. That's a very specific one. And I'm not sure where you'd get it. Is that the uh, Tiber River one? I seem to remember something like that. Cameron Durham. Hello, hello. What up, Bo and everyone? Business in the front, party in the back. How's it going, man? 
we're doing pretty good today. We've been catching a lot of fish out here on Balea River. 60 pound flathead unique at Quanchkin. At Quanchkin. I'm new and wondering what's the best feeder for walleye. Uh, honestly, the starter feeder, if you're just fishing an emerald lake, the starter feeder rod that we show in our beginner series is, uh, is, is a good one to go about. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but, uh, if you just watch the beginner series as we go to Emerald Lake, you'll, you'll see it. I'm sure. Your main line could be stronger. It's less than your reels drag. Yeah, probably could be. What do I know? The gym, the stream is a bit more delayed, so you don't need to say the same things twice. I'm just, you know, I, the stream's got a little delay. I've got a little delay. It's just, you know, by the time it gets to me and I read it, it there's, there's just a fair delay. Plus, it says that my, uh, my audio stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. I don't know what that means. What does that even mean? What is an audio bit rate? My audio bit rate is 320. What is, what is it supposed to be? Let's Google it. What is a standard, standard audio bit rate? MP3 format can range from around 96 to 320 kilobytes per second. That's what we've got it on right now, you crazy thing. I'm lost. I don't know it once from me. How about, how about you fix yourself, YouTube? All I did was hit the X and all of a sudden it says I have excellent connection. Freaking YouTube. It doesn't even know. Just tells me stuff. Hey, your, uh, your, uh, your audio bit rate. It's, it's not good. What do you mean it's not good? It's just, it's just not. Can you tell me any more information why it's not good? Nope. Cool. Thanks, YouTube. I'll take your word for it. You're the best. Is this a brown? We got a brown on. Hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. We got a brown trout and he weighs 311. I'll take it. He's cute. He's a cutie. It's pretty cold right now since last update spiker number two zero zero two is is hot at the moment which one is that do i even have that one the zero zero two i don't even have that one i tell you what i think they change these things so that you have to own every single spiker in the entire game Ugh. getting old stinks all right Spinners. Where are you, Striker 2? Striker. Striker. I just. <sighs> Siberia, Dragonfly. What is freaking going on? Spiker, stupid Jesus. All right, lures, spiker. Totally knew that. Obviously, I knew that. Spiker 002. So, you think it's worth spending 54 silver on another spiker? Huh? I don't know if I agree with you.
Uh, I don't know if I want to spend that much money on it, honestly. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm happy with what I'm doing. We can change it up. If we don't like this one, we can move on to this one. I don't care. You see me, Karen? I don't care. I'm no Karen. I can do what I want. JM Vass cut the perch bully. Nice catch, man. 234 pounds is a hoss. Was intense. Something to remember. It was. And I had an editor that was working on the video for a long freaking time. And then he told me about six months after he started that he wasn't going to be able to finish it. And he gave it back to me. So got it right here. Still unfinished alligator gar fishing video that I still need to work on. So that's going to be fun. It's only nine hours of footage to sift through. By, by catching sturgeon, Cameron. Get it, bro. It's weird how catfish don't pay well on Fishing Planet. They still made 16K. There you go. Yeah, it is weird. I agree. Frank, that bit rate. Yeah, boy. What what level do I assume the fishing the ocean map will be? What level do I assume the ocean map will be? I assume that the ocean map will be level 75. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with 75. Play it safe. What's your real speed? 25. It's good and sounds good. No problem. I can see. Thanks, Monster Belly. Yee, yo, fake chill says. Yo, Bo, how's it going? AZ 116 in Arizona yesterday. My goodness. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, well, it hit a blazing 95 in Milwaukee. Do you know what happens in Milwaukee when it hits 95 degrees? My God, people think that their, their bodies are going to melt. Hottest I ever saw it in Kansas was 112. It was, it was freaking blazing. We stayed inside, did not go outside. So 116 in Arizona is ridiculous. How do you know the keep net size in this one? In Russian Fishing 4? Uh, I don't think they have a keep net size. I think it's just the amount of fish. I think you can only keep a certain amount of fish. Pretty sure. The live streams, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thanks. Malaya. Malaya. It's a fun name to say. Malaya, Malaya, Malaya. Doubled my hit rate. Not going to say it won't change. Just standard for a long time. I got you, bro. We got another one on. Boyo. 79 pound blue cat. I think I saw your uh your comment. Might have seen your comment a while back. So you think it's worth it, huh? Think you can just show up to my live stream and just rattle off the name for some random lure and I'm just gonna go over and buy it, huh? Is that what you think? You think I'm just easy to talk into stuff like that, huh? That is that all you think of me? How come they never want brown trout at this freaking place? You know, it's like the one thing you can catch a lot of here, but the cafe never wants to buy it. What's the deal?
We can we uh, if I sold every single fish that we've caught during this stream, we could almost pay for that new lure you want me to buy. We have 960 silver right now. We could we could buy a casting rod almost or I don't know. Feeder fishing pro and start catching some bigger carp or something like that. Or just just buy a big old spinning reel. We could we could buy a big old spinning reel, but instead you want me to buy a lure. There's a cheaper one that is hot. Can't recall which one people at told me to buy. Here's a saber, 9.9 kgs. 9.9 kgs on the drag. That's 20 pounds of drag. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. I'll take that, governor. quite a bit that's, that's that's pretty expensive right there just saying your profile picture is a state record size black crappie nice the cafe never wants what's biting i know right freaking cafes the hornet number one zero zero one is working well You, it's cheaper. It's freaking three dollars cheaper, four four silver, something like that. If I yell your name, you'll like. Do I look like a dog? If you tell me to sit or lay down, you think I'm gonna freaking do it? You loser! I ain't doing nothing. This is my stream. If I, if I tell you to do something, you do it. Goodness gracious. Power, power move. Boom. What is up? I have a feather in my cap. My goodness gracious. What, what, who is the dude with the feather in his cap? Something, something. It's a song. Stuck a feather cap and bingo was his name -o? Something like that. Can't remember. I'm putting it back. <laughs> Quick tip if something is out of stuck on a map, it could be pretty hot. Yeah. It just stick with it, I would say. I got you. It's working for now. We'll stick with it. I mean we we were catching fish on all sorts of stuff, so it is what it is. Gonna get some bass and bass master. You, you get those bass, dude. You get those bass. The Parsons. The Parsons are now following the hub? How many of the Parsons? It sounds plural to me. How many Parsons are following? Whoa! One quick little cast and we're hooked up, baby. Catfishing is where it's at for you. You love the catfishing. How strong of a reel and rod do you need for the catfishing, eh? Do you have trouble keeping up with Twitch drops? I have to watch so many streams for in-game loots. I don't know anything what you just said. I don't know what a Twitch drop is. 
I don't know streams for in-game loots. I don't I don't know anything about what you just what you just mentioned. You caught a 44 pound striped bass. Whoa. Fishing games got so grindy. That's because they kind of need to have a point to the game. Otherwise you lose interest in the game. Hi, born a good boy. Did you want to say hi to everyone? Huh? You want to say hi to everybody? Hmm? You haven't said hi to people. Yeah, we haven't said hi to anyone. What do you say? Huh? You having a good day? Tell everyone how we went on a walk today. That was pretty fun. Anything else to say? Oh, no. We're just tired. <laughs> All right. Well, be good to see you, buddy. Ah. Good deal. And now it's dark. You've been hitting this place hard. Last two weeks, may I throw a spot out? Try if you want to. If you, yeah, if you got one for sure. One and a half. When you lived in Kansas, did you ever fish the Wichita area? No, I did not. Never lived around Wichita. Never went fishing around Wichita. Never. Do you still like in Kansas? I like in Kansas every once in a while. But no. I live in Wisconsin now. In old Milwaukee, the land of beer, cheese curds, and power tools. And Harley Davidson. 95 kg Barracuda rod and 18 kg caster is a good starter setup. You lead lots of locking power. Yeah, baby. Locking power is where it's at. Fishing plan will go on Twitch stream drops. Then if you watch a stream that has drops on, you'd win like seven pound or something like that. Unique to the game. That's a drop. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of Culver's in Milwaukee. There are a fair amount of Culver's, but the darn thing is, is that once you're here, the Culver's kind of stink. Like, they're not good. Culver's cheese curds are awful compared to so many cheese curds here. Kansas has pretty much everything except for maybe the cheese curds. Well, definitely has beer. I, I, I haven't tried a beer here in Milwaukee that I liked more than the beer in Kansas. Um, but I don't think that Kansas is known for power tools <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Pizza Hut. Got, they got Pizza Hut. That started in Kansas. Hunting or fishing, if you had to choose. If I had to choose to do one of them for the rest of my life, it'd be fishing. You can do fishing no, pretty much no matter where you live. Unless you live in a desert region without any water. Um, but if you live in, in the smack dab in the middle of the city, like, like I have had to do for the past... Golly. The past four years, four or five years, I've had to live in the in the middle of the big city. And it's like... 
a pain to go out somewhere and hunt on public land or something like that. Fishing is so much easier to do. So much easier to do. Seventy three forty eight speed thirty. That's fast. Feels fast. I don't think I've ever gone above twenty five. Seventy three forty eight. Is this seventy two? We gotta go way back here. You didn't know Wisconsin was known for power tools. Have you ever you never seen Milwaukee power tools? The red power tools that say Milwaukee all over them. <laughs> or have you ever seen any beer that say Miller on them? Like Milwaukee Miller. <laughs> all right. Frigid flip. Which way is it? I'm so confused right now. They're both going up. This way? No, no, no. So, 7348. That's that way. God. <laughs> I'm going to find it one way or another. No, go through this bush. Freaking bushes. 7348. Good golly, just let me go through. All right, baby. Here we go. Gonna catch a big one. Very tool to buy at the moment. Milwaukee is crushing. My Tata. My Tata? Used to drink Milwaukee's Beast. Hey, look at that. 30 speed, and we got ourselves a grayling, it looks like. Near the cafe, kind of. That's fine. I wasn't paying attention. You've never seen any Miller beer. Miller Light, Mil, 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 I can't think of any of the other Millers. <laughs> what are the other Miller beers? Miller High Life, Michelob Ultra. That's, so, that's something else. I'm just looking at the Google images right now. Miller Light, Miller High Life. I don't really care for them, but they are there. There you go. Thank you. Miller Genuine Draft. <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. That being said, though, I I would take a Boulevard beer over a, a Wisconsin beer pretty much any day of the week. Pretty much any day of the week. That's why I got signed for him up on the wall. Beer never broke my heart. <laughs> never broke my heart like my Milwaukee Power Tools did. Oh, <gasps> dude, there was a grayling right there. Grab it, grayling. He's got it. Hooked up, bro. Get in here. <laughs> no freaking way, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. He was right there staring at it. He was like, dude, I want that. I want that so bad. That looks so tasty. Man, nice. Decent grayling, that's for sure. 1086 premium XP. I dig it. His whatever your friends have in the fridge. I I I, I could see that. I could see that. Ah, it's a good point. What? 
best the best beers whatever's in the fridge after you're after you're finished building something and you're like oh man need something to wet my whistle right now then you open it up and whatever's in there that's 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 what hits the spot another chub these chubs have been absolute terrors we have not had to fight any other fish nearly as much as these darn chubs have goodness gracious yeah, this is a fun little spot good good call got some good ones here caps then a miller and don't like either <laughs> Hey, whatever, whatever works, man. Do you prefer fishing plants, fishing physics, or RF4? I don't know. I'm indifferent. I, I'll i play one and I'll be like, ah, the other one's pretty cool. And then I'll get on here and it just feels a little wonky. I don't know. It, uh, I mean, obviously, RF4 seems more realistic, but... I don't know, it just makes you wonder if it's annoying realistic or if it's cool realistic. Another chub, yay! <clears throat> so yeah, standing in one location, we've caught, what, five fish now? Jeez, I would have felt bad. Nah, it's okay. Uh, it's better than me uh, cycling between the same five s spots for another 24 minutes. So I'm glad that we started catching some stuff, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, we had a pretty good time uh, fishing the ocean the past couple streams here on Rus Russian Fishing 4. It was a pretty good time. Kind of, uh, put, you know, pulling them up and reeling in the slack and all that jazz. It was good. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Big catfish. Big catfish. I think maybe I think maybe we might have caught everything from this spot. Dang, I slept in too late. Goodness gracious, you did sleep in. Yet to try RF4, need to look into it. Heck yeah. It's a fun one. It's different. Yeah, I think it's fun. It's fun to switch back and forth between excuse me, fishing planet and Russian Fishing 4. Um just nice. They're different in their own way, and it's what makes it fun. What does it cost, and what all is involved to get those fish you have on your wall? What does it cost, and what... Fish. You can't even see any fish on my wall. My big old noggin is in front of the only fish I have on my wall. What you talking about? How am I doing? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking, Tyler. It's 10, 10 a.m. now. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, brown trout came out of nowhere. Ayo, ayo, bingo, bingo, bongo. Right on. Well, I'll tell you, because I've got, I do have another one coming in at some point. 
We have the tiger fish. That was from Zambia when my wife was working um, in Zambia in Africa. And, uh, and I came and visited her. And we went down and fished on the Zambezi River. And so we got, my wife caught a uh, tiger fish and we got a reproduction made of it. I also have a big red drum that I'm having a reproduction made of it. I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a picture. Where are you? Uh, I have to switch. That guy. So I have, um, I have this fish being made to put on the wall. I'm going to put underneath him. So I measured it out and this guy's 43 inches long. So it's going to be. Should fit just perfectly underneath <laughs> in this space. <laughs> so I'm hopeful anyway. I'm hopeful that he'll fit perfectly there. Miller Light. This was all a big ploy to see to advertise for Miller Light. Just joking. When RF5? Good question. I don't know. I'm the doctor, the time lord. I am in the future. Very true. Or someone is making like a fake plastic rebel. I've never heard of that. Yeah, so they, uh, and they have all sorts of different sizes. If you look up, like if you caught a fish, say, I, I don't know, a, an eight pound largemouth bass, and you took the measurement of it, say it was, I have no idea, 24 inches long. And so you can go online and you can look up 24 inch long largemouth bass, and someone will have a replica of it, and then you'll pay someone to cast that replica 24 inch largemouth bass that looks like your fish and they'll paint it to look like the picture of your bass and everything and then they'll send it to you that way the fish that the actual fish that you caught goes on living and becomes a 10 pound 12 pound whatever pound bass later in the future and then you still have the memory of the fish up on the wall too so it's kind of cool a picture is something like I have my pictures of my alligator gar behind me, but I'd love to get a uh, like a, a replica of the alligator gar made at some point. But the people who quoted me for the alligator gar said it was going to be about four thousand five hundred dollars or something like that, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that right now." <laughs> thank you, but no, thank you. Plus, could you imagine like moving houses and having to move a freaking seven, eight foot alligator guard replica from one house to another? That would be a nightmare. Should you hunt brown trout in Bassmaster 2022? I don't know. Or download Fishing Planet or Russian Fishing 4 and play those games. Biggest thrum I have ever seen. Aw. Thanks, man. Bright enough to switch back to the, the O18. I think we're still using the O18, to be honest. Are we not? We switch. We are using. Oh, we're using the O16. Well, there we go. Now we're back to the 018 and we're ready to catch some more fish. That's why we weren't catching anything, obviously. <clears throat> uh, 
That sounds rad. What is the official term for that? Are they pricey? It's just a replica. Just, just buy a replica. Um, they can get pricey, depending upon who you uh, do your thing with. Catching alligator gar is a rush like no other. It is, it's pretty sweet, man. I had a great time. And I would go back again. There's some fish that you catch and you're like, sweet. I caught it. You know what? I think I'm good. I don't think I need to go fishing for those again. And then, uh, and then there's fish like the alligator gar that you're like, man, I cannot wait to go back out there and catch another one. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, listen to that rip, bro. Got to set the, set the hook on that. Make sure we got the hook set. Bro, we got a major, we got a major. We're hooked up on something good. The small asp or a taman. I, I see him. Well, no, I don't. Thought I saw him over there, but I do not. We did catch a, a really small asp earlier. This is probably a, just a, a 2kg chub. We've been catching chub all over the place. And they've just been getting us really excited. And then we find out they're a chub. And we're like, oh my god. Way to ruin our day. What are you? It is a big chub. Well, we called that, didn't we? Oh, the fish you sent finally got here? Thank, thank goodness. Yeah, one and a half kg chub right there. Goodness gracious. Yeah, next fish you send our way, can it be something more interesting than a chub? Jeez. Catch carping course. Dude, right on. This must be the second fish you send our way. We can, uh, I gonna say we can see him already. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm just crazy. I continue to think that we can see the fish, but we cannot. It is a big grayling. How about that? Didn't expect that. Boom. Something else that's really fun to catch is tarpon on light tackle. Well, I tell you what, the uh the trip that we caught that red that red drum on was originally supposed to be chasing after tarpon, but the weather got so crummy that we were forced to uh fish uh inshore the entire time. And we couldn't get out to where the tarpon were. So um uh, we were unfortunately not able to go after tarpon. But we did catch big red drum, so that was fun. It's always, always active. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been hitting the rocks pretty much the entire stream. And then um, old Monster Belly, I believe, recommended this spot in between. So we started casting here and started catching some good-sized fish. And so we've just been... Just been kind of moseying back and forth since then, since we've been fishing the other, the rocks for the past two hours, basically. Hour and hour and a half. Uh, I wouldn't think so, especially striped bass. Why would you be catching striped bass? What are you using for bait? Fishing tournaments to rely or plan to? Uh, I've been in one fishing tournament for uh, for carp, and we did not do well. You're uh, you're locked into one location for the entire tournament, and uh, we never caught any carp the entire time, so we just we just didn't do well. There was um, tech. I mean, w there was one guy that caught like three carp. And then there was another two guys that each caught like a carp each. And that was it. 
So the carp had it was it was pretty clear to everyone that the carp had kind of moved to a certain location on the lake and the rest of us were just slim pickings basically. Some expectation that the next map on RF4 will be a bass fishing map. That is interesting. Why why would it be a bass fishing map? I guess. Alex is now subscribed. Sweet. Tried fishing tarpon on light tackle. Broke your rod. <laughs> is drum another version of carp? It is not. It is not. Um... There's there's a pretty good connection though of uh the drum they got the red drum the black drum and then you got the freshwater drum so you can kind of see like an evolutionary sort of thing there from uh freshwater to saltwater and all that sort of jazz um but but they are an interesting fish they actually have um they have teeth on their back end like molars basically that allow them to crush up shells and crustaceans and stuff like that. So uh, they're kind of a cool fish. If you um, if you have a lake that has a lot of tiger mussels and stuff like that, the freshwater drum will actually eat tiger mussels. So they're kind of a kind of a nice fish to have if you have invasive tiger mussels in the thing. Is that duck hunt? You better believe it. I spent uh, all of. Uh, had like a spring break or something like that a while back and i spent like the entire spring break making a bunch of uh animations in the style of duck hunt for the channel this was back in like 2021 maybe Dude, that was immediate it just hit the water and we immediately got hit It was great to catch you live, but I needed to go take some minutes. Have a great stream. Good luck to you, tight lines. Hey, take care, Monster Belly, and thank you for the, the tips, man. They worked out great. Have a great night. So we got another brown trout on. Little guy. Little guy, but we got him. Aw, thanks, Malaya. Because they want to expand their player race in the U.S. and Chinese markets are big. They will have a Pacific Sea fishing map that will appeal to more... A bass fishing map that would be that would be great it doesn't make sense i guess from a russian fishing standpoint but you know whatever whatever you gotta do i mean i understand the thought behind it but if you really wanted to bring more u.s players in you probably wouldn't name your game russian fishing for because russia and china are like most despised countries to the u.s right now so the fact that you're wanting to appeal to more u.s players while your game's name has russia in the title it's just a little just just not very good i guess but go for the bass fishing man You ever do any fishing around Hayes? No, I did not. I mainly stuck to so I grew up in Salina, which is right smack dad in the middle of Kansas, and then uh, and then I moved to uh, Lawrence, which is uh, further east of Kansas, and then I moved to Pittsburgh, which was in the southeast of Kansas, and then I moved back up to Kansas City, which was in the far eastern side of Kansas. So. Um, so I've either been in the center of Kansas, the eastern side of Kansas, or the southeastern side of Kansas. I've never never done anything else other other than that basically. They have an HQ in the US too now. I mean, I I I have done videos for the people for Russian fishing for I've I've talked to the guy who owns the game and he lives in Colorado so I I I know where they're from and I've definitely told them that Russian fishing is a bad name 
but they're just they they they're just not going to change it. <laughs> It's a great game for the time. Heck yeah, man. He, still, I mean, uh, Duck Hunt, like, uh, they have they have shooting games in, like, Wii and, like, Nintendo and stuff like that, but those, those, those consoles have nothing on Duck Hunt. Like, it, you could literally point the, the freaking gun at the TV and it would freaking kill a duck way back. Oh, are you kidding me? That's amazing. And the Wii is just so slow, and the cursor has to move to shoot stuff. Just not as good. Just not as good. It was a, it was ahead of its time. Still a great thing. It's amazing. Biggest fish in real life is a 15-pound flathead. Very nice, dude. That's awesome. What are some features I'd like to see in Fishing Planet? Oh man, he got off. That's our first fish we've lost today. We've done pretty good. Done pretty good today. Features I'd like to see in Fishing Planet. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Trophy Lodge. Love to Trophy Lodge. That's a big fish. Nice little grayling there. I think I'd just like to see all my fish again, like in person and see how big they are compared to my body. It's one thing to see images of them and stuff like that. But if I could just have like a, like a simple trophy lodge that kept track of all my biggest fish and stuff like that, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy just so that I could see like, Oh crap. This taman was huge. Look at the size of this thing. It's amazing. Like that would be pretty cool to me. There we go. Ah, oh, dirty dog, man. That's two fish now we've lost. Checked in on one of your lives. Been watching ever since your first fishing planet video. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Hayden. Which is has the worst grind fishing planet or Russian fishing? They're they're different, dude. It's just like asking which is better, cake or ice cream. They're both good in their own way. Which is more grindy? They're both grindy. I don't know. What about an aquarium? I've never been a big fan of aquariums in games. Just my just my my two cents. I went on a long tangent to someone who really wanted to discuss aquariums versus uh mounted fish and i spent a lot of time describing why i feel this way and that way and the conversation went absolutely nowhere and i kind of vowed at that point not to go into a conversation about it ever again because if you like aquariums and i like mounted fish then then that's just how it is and why even discuss it Because you see any aquariums in my house with all my big fish that I've caught? No, but I've got one right there on my wall. So you tell me which is more realistic. But hey, now let's get aquariums in the game. What is my favorite game to hunt? Like my favorite game to, to do hunting in. Uh, hunt, I guess the hunter call of the wild, I guess. I don't know. A 200 plus Mekong. That would be pretty sweet. Mekong, what do we got? We got the big catfish in India that I, we need to catch as well. Can't recall what that thing's called. Blanking. I'm blanking. Hmm. 
The Gooch. The Gooch catfish. You gotta make sure you pronounce that one right. You go around telling people you want to catch a gooch. You want to get your hands on a gooch. They might, uh, they might look at you funny. So the gooch catfish, that would be pretty sweet. I would love to catch one of those. In real life and in Fishing Planet. Would love to rod holers on boats and fishing plant. Nah, I guess. I'm indifferent. Maybe it's because I've just played the entire game without really using rod holders. Until we got the Congo boat that had rod holders. Yeah, I never really did much with them. Like animal to hunt. What's my favorite game animal to hunt? Oh. I'm not sure I have one, to be honest. My opinion on the best rock band after Molly Crew. I don't I don't think I have I don't think I have one. I'll I'll need to improve my uh my uh What's the, what's the term? Man, I'm just blanking. It must be time for bed. Um, my knowledge bank. I have to come up with better answers for you guys in the next live stream, maybe. <laughs> How do you catch more tarpon at Blue Crab? Just throwing out the right stuff. Throw, throw out a big popper. Throw out some scaled sardines or some large minnows. Um... Big old popper is what we use to catch them on in the mornings for for tarpon, unique tarpon. Um, hey, we made it over a thousand silver. Yeah. All right. That's going to do it for now, everybody. This was a fun one. Which one do you like more, Fishing Planet or RF4? I know, right? Ice cream or cake? Am I right? Which one do you like more? You should do a real life river monster series. I would love to. I really would. I would absolutely love to. Anywho, that's going to do it, everyone. Hopefully, you enjoyed a little bit of Russian fishing for. It's always fun to go back and forth between fishing plan and Russian fishing for. But uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. I'm hoping that I'll get the A OK to move forward and show off some of the beta uh, fish fighting in Fishing Planet on Wednesday. So we will see. But until then, take care. Hit the like button if you haven't already. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. See you later, Blake. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. I have to hit this afterwards. There we go. One family. Game on.